Hi everyone, so today is Monday, 13 May, over here, and I've just taken two trades that made me 3.3 R. So I'm gonna do a little breakdown of what I was looking at. So firstly, I went to check the news and there are no news for the day. So I was just planning to trade the normal New York opening. So I started off with the monthly time frame where I said that price looks to be bullish because it reversed from this whole dealing range, 25% on ES. Um, on NQ, it has gone above 25 and also Dow. So I'm thinking that they might just reach for the liquidity on top, all three of the indices. So in the weekly time frame, I've marked out this entire last range and NQ is the one that's lagging from reaching the previous week's high. So you can see this previous week's high, it hasn't reached it yet. And on yes, it has went above this previous week's high, which I marked out over here. So these two are equal highs, and then this one has been taken out already. And Dow is currently the most bullish one, reaching for previous month's high already. That's the next um, PD array that I'm looking at. Okay, so on daily, ES and NQ have close proximity to liquidity. So I was gonna go down into the lower time frame to look for a sweep into the previous week's high on either NQ or ES. And then on H4, I started to open up the new week opening gap from the last four new week opening gap to the last eight. And then I realized that price, both NQ and ES have already reached the new week opening gap. So from here, I can start looking for reversals. Okay, so DJ and ES, this first one and the last one has taken up previous day high. So ES didn't really take it out, but it reached the exact same point for the previous day's high, which is last Friday, while NQ have not. So NQ is the one that is slightly slower and therefore a better trade if I want to take a shot. Okay, so going into M15, price have reached for London's Q3 while it's currently in New York's Q3. So this is written at 9.35 a.m. And then I have divergence between three highs. So it might be a small pullback and then to launch further. So ultimately, my view of the market is still higher into this previous week's high. But I'm just looking at this little pullback, this big push down at 9.35 to reach into the previous session's low, which is why I marked it out. So here we already have the first divergence. So ES have met its previous day's high, while NQ have not, and then it's starting to break lower. All right, so going down into M5, I've now found the precision, precision swing point, which is where they start showing me divergence. So here I have uh, NQ making higher high, while the same timing ES was making a lower high. All right, and then I went into the one minute to look for the trades. So here we have a minute one bearish fair value gap. So when I caught this, price was already here. So I just put a limit order and then when it snapped back up, I was into this trade. And you can see that this take profit is right at the previous session's low. Right. So within two minutes, it reached the previous session low for both ES and NQ. So I took a trade on NASDAQ. And now zooming out again into M5, uh, I see another divergence between um, S&P, NQ, as well as Dow Jones. So this whole time while we were like shorting this, um, Dow Jones was just pushing higher. So I just took this as another sign that it wants to go a bit higher. So going into the 15 seconds, I spotted this um, fair value gap on the 15 second as well as here. So you can see that there's another divergence, right? 
price push lower over here and then push higher while for NQ price push lower and then lower so in this time I took ES because it's showing me that it's the one that's reversing first while this one went on to take liquidity out again and then I went to highlight the precision swing point for this area by this using this red box so I can see that price on this candle has already broken above this structure break of structure while at the same time over here price did not so this was my um, confirmation when price on the minute wait yeah on the minute one time frame that price wants to continue going higher because this you know this candle is scary so I had to zoom out a bit sometimes of the smaller time frame just to see whether price is still following the proper price action okay so I told myself that I was going to let this trade play out until the end of Q3, which is also in line with the end of the macro at 9.50 to 10.10. So I told myself, okay, I'm going to let this trade run up to here, which is above this swing high. I picked it out like that by the end of a macro timing. So because the macro timing would also align with the next quarter, which is the reversal quarter on Q4, it should start around 10.08, 10.10. I would want to be out of this trade in case price wants to reverse to go lower. So right now, I'm not thinking about the time frame above H4 anymore. I'm just scalping because I've already had my first you know, win. I want to secure my profit and get out of this risk as soon as possible. So you can see by the time it actually launched above this whole red candle, I've moved my um, stop loss, which was originally here, to break even. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, this was the entry, and then this um, orange one is the break even uh, stop loss. So I put it just here. Okay, so how I got out is when price started to do this. Okay, so this is just ES and NQ. I see that price have created a lower high and a higher high, while price created a higher high and a lower high. So you can you know what I'm talking about, right? It's up, down, and this was down and up. So over here, I took all of my positions out. And also because you see um, over here, Dow Jones is just sideways already. So I, I can foresee that it's losing its steam going into Q4. Okay, so this is how I got out, a total of 3.3R, and that's it for the day because I only have two trades a day, and if it's done, I just start to rest. It's already 10.44pm in Singapore, so I just update the title, and then that's all for my trading. Yeah, so right now, since I'm out, I would just view the market and see how it reacts after after I have exited so going down into M5 we're now in quarter 4 okay so ultimately price did not even reach the 50% of this whole entire current um, New York range so I'm glad I got out of of the trade here if not this would have been another you know 20 minutes of my life just <laughs> watching the charts okay so that's it for today's video i hope you guys took something valuable from it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye